Okay, in this video, we're taking the integral of 3 over x squared plus 4x plus 5. So before, we've factored this, and it helped us. But uh, in this case, this doesn't even factor. So um, a technique that I think is a good opportunity for a great, difficult, unfamiliar type question um, will be you need to complete the square. So let's complete the square and see if that leads us anywhere. So let's go over here, x squared plus 4x. And I like to move, when I complete the square, I like to move that C term out a little way so I have room for my perfect square. So if you remember, for completing the square, this term needs to have a 1 in front. If not, you can just factor it out of the first two terms. So 1, take half of this, so half of 4 is 2, and square it, and I'm left with 4. But I can't just add 4 to an expression, that changes it, so I need to subtract 4 as well. So it actually doesn't change the value. Okay, so now this is a perfect square. I can write that as x plus 2 squared. And this is my other piece here. 5 minus 4 is 1. Okay, so there's my completed square. So that's 3 over, I'm going to reverse this as 1 plus x plus 2 squared dx. And now it looks a little bit more familiar. Uh, we can call this a squared plus x squared, and there's no square root, which means, and it's a plus, which means it could be an arctan. So, and we'll just bring the 3 out. So 3 and arctan of x plus 2 over a, which is 1, and then over a right here, which is just 1. Here is our answer.